Cortez. He was shot in the head twice and his body dumped on the Yongel Road in Tea Kettle. Almost immediately after the discovery of the body on the morning of August 29th, Kim Barrow's bodyguard, 33-year-old Ryan Wagner, was charged and arraigned for that murder. But Wagner was not alone. In fact, another policeman assigned to the Bamapan police station was allegedly with him when Sanchez Perez was killed. Today, Superintendent Gillette told us that the investigation is proceeding. Well, for obvious reasons, the, the, the internal investigation is um, separate and apart from us at Belopan um, Station. I'm not intimate to the investigation, but I can tell you that that officer um, has been placed on interdiction while the investigation continues. And if it shows that he had any culpability in terms of um, or in relation to that crime, he will be dealt with internally and through the court system. This um, incident was an isolated one. It has nothing to do with any other happenings within um, the Belopan formation. The person arrested for the murder isn't a police officer from Belopan Station, but lives in the area. But we are, like you rightly said, any incident, if we see it beforehand, we will deal with it. But this was a random, in our view, it was a random incident that occurred on that night. On Tuesday, five Cubans who were heading to the United States ended up in Belize when their vessel shipwrecked after they set sail from Honduras. They ended in, wa in Belizean waters and were rescued by a vessel that dropped them off in the area of the Supreme Court. This is where they walked directly into the hands.